Well, it's a huge pleasure to plant this tree or help plant this tree. This is a Chanticleer pear, and the Chanticleer pear will grow to about 30 or 40 feet high. It's a bit susceptible to wind, which may, may not be too much of a trouble in this part because it's up against a building. And it will actually flower white flowers in March and have little fruit on it, which, although there are lots of hospitals around, and it's probably not poisonous, probably best not to eat on the whole. Now, it's going to use about between two and four kilograms of carbon a year. So 49 of these trees will mitigate against one person's entire carbon footprint. But there's a kind of bizarre paradox here today, which some of the adults will recognize. The Lord Mayor and I have taken a very long time to get here. We've taken a long time to get here because of the appalling traffic in London. And there is a complete disconnect between the wonderful work you're doing, actually reducing the carbon footprint by planting more trees, and the work that's going on consistently in London, blocking off streets, slowing down traffic, using huge amounts of concrete, which actually uses a vast amount of carbon dioxide. And when traffic slows, as my car, the average speed today was six miles an hour coming from uh, the Palace of Westminster, the Palace of Westminster, it's only about five or six miles. It's taken me the best part of an hour. That means that my carbon footprint in consequence is colossal, like everybody else where we're held up. And we have to do something about it. It's not just simply enough to narrow streets down as they have done in Regent Street. I don't know what the answer is, but it's very good to be planting this tree. And certainly I think we should try to ensure there's a better system of traffic flow as well. But we're powerless, it seems. Get on your bike. Seems <laughs> well, I do. I get on my bike, but the trouble is, like, like you, actually, you know, if you're doing yeah, four or five different sites in London, you it's can't. Impossible. Yeah, that's right. the trouble. Anyway, here is this silver spade. There we are. You may not know this, but this this is solid silver, and it's been dug up by the Queen of Peru in one of her mines, and it's one of the privileges of the Lord Mayor of Westminster that all silver spades can be taken home by her and used for whatever purpose she wants. But in the, mean, but in the meantime, what you can do, you can help me with these oh, other yes. two silver spades, put some earth in the hole. Will you do that, yeah? Mm? So I'll start and then the Lord Mayor, no doubt, will continue. And then you need to join in. There we are. Well, it's very important to improve the urban environment. Trees do that. They have many, many advantages. And this kind of tree is very durable and ideal for this sort of, for, for a London street. And the idea of having a row of 49 of them is rather exciting. All plants make a, a more restful environment and, and that's important. And I think having trees um, in the environment, which urban planners have always done since Greek times, really. I mean, if you look at even places like um, Pompeii, you can see in, uh, in Roman building where they've used plants in urban streets. And um, I think there's a very good reason for that, that it does improve well-being. 